you love cookies. In this video... <laughs> this video is hilarious! Uh-oh, gotta go potty! <sighs> oh, um, gee! I just dropped my phone in the toilet! And now it's ruined! Oh, no! Oh, Molly, you dropped your phone in the toilet? Please, I, I need a new phone! Molly, I'm sorry, but I can't afford that right now. I have to buy groceries for all of you kids and dad and I. It's all I have that's budgeted for, for groceries. I don't have money for a new phone. Hey, what's that over there? It's, it's money! I'm supposed to get a phone after all. Molly, do you know something about my missing money? If you do, you better tell me right now. Uh, uh, uh -oh. It was, it was Daisy! Daisy, you are grounded for a month. But I, I... <laughs> this video is hilarious. Uh-oh, gotta go potty. <sighs> oh, um, gee, I just dropped my phone in the toilet and now it's ruined. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa, Molly, what's wrong with you? I got a new monkey. I love my monkey toy. No one cares about the monkey. Whoa, Molly, rude. That's your baby sister you're talking to. Try to be nice. Sorry, I'm just having a really bad moment. What is it, Molly? What happened? I dropped my phone in the toilet. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> you made your phone swim in the toilet? <laughs> it's not funny, Daisy. My phone is ruined. I could get you out of my monkey and give you a hug you feel bad. I don't want your monkey to feel better. I want my phone. I was right in the middle of watching this super funny video. Well, <sighs> sorry, Molly, but I don't have any money you can borrow for a new phone. I'm going to ask Mom if she'll give me money. <laughs> yeah, right. She already bought you a new phone. I know, but I've got to try. Oh, hi, Molly. I'm just making the grocery list. Is there anything special you'd like from the grocery store? Now that you mentioned it, I'd like some pop tarts, some chocolate ice cream. Don't forget the ice cream cones. Um, some chocolate bars. Ooh, the cupcakes that have like the fudge in the center and Molly. No, not a bunch of junk food. Oh, huh. okay. I guess this day is just getting worse and worse and worse. What's wrong, Molly? You can talk to me about anything. Mom, I know you just bought me a new phone because I dropped the other one in the parking lot at school and it smashed it, but I um, had another little accident with my new phone. Wait, what? Don't tell me that you ruined your new phone. Well, I was watching this video and I know you said don't take it into the bathroom because I'm clumsy and I'm probably going to, you know, drop it in the toilet and well, exactly what you said would happen. Happened! Molly, you dropped your phone in the toilet? Yeah, kind of funny, right? Daisy laughed. No, not funny. Did it ruin it? Um, yeah, and I was hoping. Would you give me some, some, some more money, Mom? Please, I, I need a new phone. Molly, I'm sorry, but I can't afford that right now. I have to buy groceries for all of you kids and Dad and I. It's all I have that's budgeted for, for groceries. I don't have money for a new phone. Uh-oh. What? What am I going to do with it out of phone? Read a book? Play outside? Um, count cheap? I don't know. Mom, that's what you do when you can't sleep. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas then. Nobody knows the trouble I'm in. Nobody knows how sad I am. Told you, Molly, she wasn't gonna go for it. Girls, I need you to go up and clean your rooms, please. Seriously? Could this day get any worse? Baby Kira and I are going to head out to the grocery store. Are you ready, Baby Kira? I want to bring my monkey kid, Mom. Okay, honey. Let's go. <laughs> Can't stop crying. How will I Snapchat? How will I play Roblox? How <laughs> will I text Brookie? How will I call to order DoorDash? Worst day ever. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. 
Dizzy, could you stop being so happy around me? Sorry, it's just my nature. My name is Dizzy. Dizzy, stop singing that song. It's driving me crazy. Whoa, you are so grumpy and rude right now, Marley. I'm just doing my chores and trying to keep a happy outlook on life. Well, there's nothing happy. I broke my phone. I sunk it to the bottom of the toilet ocean. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't supposed to not laugh there because it's not funny, but it's still really funny. <laughs> Sorry, toilet ocean. Your, your phone was like a, a sinking ship. <laughs> Daisy, my life is over. Marty, it's just a phone. Go out and live your life if you need to. I can't. My phone to Snapchat, DoorDash, texting, looking at funny videos, Roblox. Oh, Molly. Well, I guess you're just going to have to get a job. Job? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Jobs are worse than homework, I bet. Yeah, there's someone bossing you around, and you have to do what they say, but basically you get money for it, so I guess it's better than homework in that way. Oh, I think I might be way too lazy for that. I'm gonna go make myself feel better by eating a cookie. Well, at least I still have you, chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Friends for life. Mm. Delicious. Oh, I guess I'll just go watch some TV. Hey, what's that over there? It's, it's money! And loads of it! Holy guacamole, it's $500! <laughs> well, I guess the hands of fate have spoken. I'm supposed to get a phone after all. Daisy, I'll see you later. I'm going to town. Gonna take a nice little walk. Uh-oh. Mom, can I have a chocolate bar? Well, I don't know, honey. The budget's kind of tight this week. I really want something delicious. I'll tell you what, if you're a good girl while we're in the store, I'll buy you a chocolate bar and we can split it, okay? Okay, I love it. I want the chocolate kind with your peanut butter. Oh, Reese Cups. Good choice, baby Kira. I love it. Hi, welcome to Sunshine Market. Are you having a good day today? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. <laughs> I mean, I could afford all my groceries, which is surprising because it seems like they keep going up and up and up and up. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been complaining about that recently. Okay, let me just load up your cart for you. Okay, that will be $495.98. Wow, I kept it under $500 for our whole huge family. Ah, that's awesome. And that's for two weeks of groceries. Okay, where's my money? It was right here in my pocket. Um, do you have the money to pay? I don't know what happened to the money. It was right here in my pocket. And, and, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Well, I guess I'll have to pay with my, my credit card. <laughs> I've been trying to just use cash, you know, that way I don't spend more than I have. But, um, I guess I'll just use my credit card and try to find the money later. Well, you need to have groceries, so I guess you will. <laughs> Hopefully you find your money, though. I'm so happy right now, because I got a new phone. <laughs> best day ever. It used to be the worst day, but now it's the best one. I have no idea where that grocery money went, except for the fact that I have, well, a little bit of a hole in my pocket, and I think that it fell out the bottom of my pocket. Oh, no. I'm okay, Mama, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, where am I gonna get $500 to pay off the credit card bill? Oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. I just know it. Mom, what exactly are you doing? Did you lose one of your contacts again? No, I just, I lost this money and... Whoa, well, you did? I did too, Mama. I have, I have Mama. I did What's everyone doing? Are we pretending we're dogs? I can play this game too. Woof! 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 No, Mama lost our money. What? What did you say? I can't understand you. You're talking baby talk. She's saying that Mom lost her money. She has a little hole in her pants pocket and the money fell right out. Wait. What? 
You you lost money? H how much? Five hundred dollars. It was the money I was taking for the groceries. <laughs> well, you should be real more careful with your money, Mom. You shouldn't just leave it laying around. What? What are you talking about? Molly, do you know something about my missing money? If you do, you better tell me right now. Or else. Um, uh, uh, uh. It was, it was Daisy! What? What? I, I, I. Daisy, you are grounded for a month. But I, I, I. I can't even believe this, Daisy. Maybe from Molly, because she's sometimes naughty, but not you. I don't know what to say. I'm, I, 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 uh. uh oh. Well, Molly, thank you for telling me the truth about that. Um, you're, you're welcome. <sighs> so disappointed in Daisy. Obviously, if there's money just laying on the floor inside our house, it belongs to somebody. Why would she think she could just take it? Um, because she didn't realize that it belonged to you? Well, it belonged to somebody. People don't just leave $500 laying around, do they? I don't know. Maybe the universe just wanted you to have it. Molly, quit trying to make excuses for Daisy. It was wrong of her to not try to find the owner of the $500. Yeah, so wrong. I'll find the money. Da, 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 da. Well, no, baby Kara. Uh, we already found the money and Daisy has it. I wonder what she spent it on. Mm, da, da, yum, yum, yum. Baby Kara, what are you eating? I found this hot dog under the couch. Oh, honey, that's super old. We ate hot dogs like a month ago. Where did that come from? Ew. Oh, nobody cleaned out of the couch. Ew, stop eating that, baby Kara. That's gross. Stop it. It's mine. I eat it if I want. Oh, gross. My life is over. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I didn't actually take the money. I just got accused of taking the money. I was so upset and emotional. I didn't think about this, well, with my brain. And the truth of it is, I just got flamed. I was too busy crying and sad and upset that mom thought I did something wrong. I forgot about the fact that I didn't actually do something wrong. And now I'm going to find out who did. <laughs> this video is hilarious. <laughs> Daisy, I'm on the toilet. What are you doing? Molly, where did you get that new phone? New phone? What new phone? Uh oh Molly, you found the $500 on the floor, and you bought a new phone with it, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't have a phone. I'm innocent! Molly, you framed me, and you got me in so much trouble with Mom. That's it. I'm telling Mom! What? No, Daisy, you tattletale! Don't you dare! Okay, what am I going to do with this new phone? i got to hide the evidence. Oh, I can't flush it down the toilet. It's too beautiful. Don't even think about it. Daisy, you'll pay for this. Um, why are we hanging out in the bathroom, girls? Did the toilet plug again? Molly, you really need to eat less bean burritos. She flamed me. What? Well, her picture is pretty nice from school, but I didn't know you had a frame to put it in. No, Mom. Flamed as in she made me guilty when she was guilty. What? No, it was Daisy. She took the $500. She bought a new phone. Check her pockets. Daisy! What? Molly, show me your pockets. Um. Molly! <gasps> uh! Molly, you are grounded. I'm sorry. I didn't know the $500 belonged to, to you, Mom. Well, who did you think it belonged to? Maybe Daisy. Well, did you think Daisy would want you to steal her money? Well, I figured finders keepers and losers weepers. <laughs> Molly, not in this house. Not in this house. I'm sorry, Daisy, that I accused you. Well, it was actually Molly. You were just doing your mom duties. <sighs> Molly, you are grounded for the next two weeks. And I'm going to expect you to do chores to earn that money back. Can I keep the phone? Not. Well, I don't know what to do about that, but... You're grounded from it for at least two weeks. 
And I can't believe... Wait, did you just have the phone next to the toilet again? Uh, she did. No, you're grinding from the phone for at least a month. Until you can pay me back for it. Ugh. Let's turn back into the worst day ever again. Ugh. Come on, Daisy, let's play some soccer. No! Molly, where did you get that shirt? Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I love Spongebob. Yeah. It is pretty cute, I have to say. Where did you get it? I might rat one. Uh, Daisy, get out of the road. Here comes a car. Oh, look. It's two losers. Hey, you bit of a soccer ball. Rude. O-M-G. That was so rude. Whatever, losers. <laughs> You'll never be a baddie like me. Um, why would we want to be bad? That's that's not very nice. Being good is nice. Oh, uh, whatever with your stupid SpongeBob t-shirt <gasps> and your silly clothes and your silly faces. Ooh. Whoa, she's rude. See you later, losers. Bye. Oh my God, Daisy. What are we gonna do? I don't wanna be a loser. We are gonna become baddies. Uh, I don't know about that. You know I'm not really into fashion and all that. Maddie, just try, okay? We need to fit in in Brookhaven, all right? All right, um, okay, um, yeah, all of my nerd shirts are pretty much not gonna work then. But look how adorable it is. Maddie, enough of the nerd shirts. Okay, let me type in baddie. I wanna see what comes up. No results found? Yeah, Marty. Being a baddie means you have to figure it out for yourself. Or maybe I should start with a face because um, I feel like the face is better than... Look at my shirt, though. I look so cute as a, as a nerd. Marty, we're trying to be a baddie, heel. Ah! Guys, I literally just put mean girl into the search and um, everything I was looking for just came up. So what's that say about being a baddie, guys? Um, That they're mean? All right. Look at this face, guys. Oh, I have, do I have to buy it? I think I have to buy it. $65 to be a baddie? Okay, worth it. Totally worth it. Here we go, guys. Now I'm gonna have the baddie face. Oh my gosh! Buddy! You look so different. Jesus, what's going on with your hair right there? That's really weird. You should usually get rid of that hair, for sure. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna go in and get some baddie hair. Let's get, oh, first I have to remove my other hair. Do not laugh at me, guys. Okay, don't laugh at me. <laughs> um, okay. Can I put in, like, mean girl hair? <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Mean girl hair. Oh, we came up with stuff, guys. Like, look at this one. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, I know for a fact that, um, baddies definitely have to have giant eyelashes. I know... Because I've seen the girls in my school wearing these giant eyelashes. They're very important. Oh, God. Why did I say I was going to be a baddie with Molly? This is, like, such a bad idea. Um, it's a great idea. And look at my eyelashes. They're going to be amazing. Wow. All right, guys. Let's try these ones. They're, like, giant. What? Why are they coming out of my eyebrows? Okay, that is weird. Let's try again. They're all coming out of my eyebrows. I may have to not have the eyelashes just because... I don't know why, but they just look like really weird. <laughs> this isn't even over my eyes. Weird. Ooh, let's try this one. No, none of them work. Okay. Eyelashes are beautiful just as they are. So whatever. I'm a good enough baddie. And if you don't think so, well then you're not cool. And I am. All right, let's put in like mean girl outfits. Mean girl outfits and see what comes up. Good thing you can cheat at this and, like, put in Mean Girls outfits. You don't have to, like, know yourself. Like, some of these are ridiculous. This is, like, the Grinch. Like, look at this. <laughs> You're mean one, Mr. Grinch. Anyway, um, why is that not clicking off? Oh, God, now I'm stuck wearing the Grinch outfit. Ooh. Seriously? No. No, no, and no. I need a baddie outfit. What's this one say? So fetch. <laughs> Old school. Um, all right. So I'm still looking for the best baddie outfit ever. Dizzy, I don't think that's the best baddie outfit. What do you know about being a baddie? 
Um, I'm pretty bad every time I don't do my homework and that's like always, so I don't know. I think I look adorable though. Um, but what about like, oh my God, look, there's a book, there's a shirt that has burn book on it. Oh, that is so cool. Still not what I'm gonna wear though. Buddy, you take it forever. Okay, everybody, we're gonna speed this <laughs> up. this molly uh you look like a goth girl but i guess that's okay i mean you look kind of bad <gasps> but also baddie is just like my look i look amazing i'm just saying whoa molly is all of a sudden like totally full of herself she thinks she looks amazing uh i do so the first thing we need to do is have a car well molly we don't have a car just bicycles then i suggest that we borrow mom or dad's because uh yeah we need a car let's go ask dad hey who are you and where's my pizza uh, if you're from DoorDash, then you forgot my pizza. Uh, Dad, no, it's me, Molly. And to be Daisy. What? But, but you're my little girls. Where are my little girls at? Dad, we're dressed up as baddies. Wow. Dad? Dad, oh my God, that made him disappear. It freaked him out so much. No, I'm right here, spasming on the floor. You used to be little babies just yesterday. <sighs> I have a good idea. Let's make dad up like a baddie. What? No, that's weird. No, it's not. Let's do it. Dad, you want a baddie makeover? Um. Ha <laughs> ha! Dad, no choice. You're doing it. Oh no. This is gonna go badly. Ow. <laughs> dad, that's so you. Um. Ah! Dad, would now be a good time to ask you if we can borrow the car? If it means I can get out of these. Tight shorts, sure, and wipe this makeup off my face. Okay, Dad, fine. Um, ah! The washcloths are in the bathroom. There's some makeup remover in there. See you later. Come on, Baddy, get in. I'm in, let's go. What are we gonna do first? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is go shopping because isn't that what baddies do? Yeah, but we have no money. What are we gonna do about that? Um, we're gonna go to the bank and rob it. We're baddies. Turn around. Molly! What? It's just Roblox. Come on. Live a little. OMG! Molly is about to go rob a bank. Molly? No. Molly and Daisy are about to go rob a bank. Now let's go. Daisy, put the pedal to the metal. This is a sports car, not a granny car. Sorry, Molly. She was your bossy as a baddie. <laughs> Let's go blow up the safe. Now, where is that explosive that I was going to use to open this door? Why did I forget my backpack? I guess baddies don't carry backpacks. Molly, we could just use the key card to open the door. Where'd you get that? I stole it out of the desk. Hey, you didn't let me in. There you go, cheapos. All right, can we use that to actually open this? Um, uh, nobody sure. Never robbed a bank before. Let's try it. Nah, we're gonna have to blow this part up. Kaboom! Uh, Molly, I think we should probably stand back. Holy guacamole! We're gonna blow up the safe. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I just robbed stacks of cash! Molly, get in before the police get here! I'm such a baddie, they can't even catch me. Daisy, what are you doing? You're the driver. Hurry up! Before we get caught! We're so bad that we're going to drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh, wow. That's super great. We'll get in a car crash, and then we can't be baddies anymore. Oh, whatever, Molly. So, should we go shopping, or should we just be, like, rude to people? Isn't that what a baddie does? I say we try being rude to people, but I don't know. I'm pretty nice, so probably we can. Let's go into the library and pick our nerds. <gasps> yeah, that's what baddies do. Look at all my money. Look at, look at my lipstick. Look how rude I am. Nerd alert, nerd alert. I don't actually know if I can like say that because normally I wear a SpongeBob t-shirt and like this feels so out of my personality, but here we go. <laughs> Hi, you wanna read a book with me? Uh, wanna um, not be such a nerd? Was that a good insult? Yeah, Molly. Look at all the cash. We're rich baddies. <laughs> That's cool, but do you want to read a book with me? 
What are you, a robot? Is that all you know how to say? Sorry, you guys are just so pretty that I can't even think straight. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. We are so pretty. Yeah. Maddie? Sorry. <laughs> this baddie had a bean burrito for lunch. Maddie, baddies don't fart. Um, correction. Everybody farts, right, nerd? That's right. It's a human being thing. Everybody farts. <laughs> you seem like a dream girl to me. I like bean burritos. Ugh, you smell a little bad, though. <laughs> Not a chance. You couldn't get with me, nerd. I'm amazing. And I'm a baddie. I'm a baddie. Come on, Daisy. Leave the nerd alone. Come on, Daisy. Let's go get some Starbucks. Um, baddies always drink Starbucks. And um, they get an extra um, large latte. And it's so good because they get extra foam on the top. Yeah, that sounds delicious. We have so many stacks of cash. We could buy a thousand of these. Well, well, well. What do we have here? <gasps> what? Baddie competition? I don't think so. I'm the biggest baddie in Brookhaven. Not anymore, Steph. Now I'm the biggest baddie. Wait a minute. Am I a baddie too, Hugh, or not? Yeah, you could be a baddie, but wait a minute. Molly and Daisy, the losers. You were wearing a SpongeBob t-shirt earlier today. Where did you get this makeover? It's called Roblox. You can be anybody you want. And right now, I'm a baddie. Look at my hair. Look at my face. Look at my eyelashes. Look at my lips. Look at my outfit. Look at my car. Look at my money. I'm way baddier than you. Uh, Molly, uh, I don't think that's the way English. Stop sounding like a nerd there, nerdy baddie. <gasps> Molly, how dare you say that to me? Uh-oh, this is going to be a baddie fight. Oh, no, here he goes again. <laughs> Will you go out with me? I don't mind farts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are real baddies. The school nerd is, like, wanting to date you. Well, Molly, he sounds like your soulmate. Oh. Daisy, be quiet. He doesn't sound like my soulmate. No, we're, we're, get out of here. We're not dating. You're so dreamy, baddie. Um, no, 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 and no. Ah! I don't think you're a baddie at all. Looks like all the nerds love you. Well, maybe we should have a competition to see who's the baddiest of all. <gasps> uh, Molly, I'm pretty sure that Steph's gonna win. We'll find out. We'll find out. Do you think I'm an awesome baddie? Let's see what they say. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they say. Hello? What do you think? Am I an awesome baddie or not? Ha ha ha. Uh, no. What? Uh, but I look amazing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> One point for me. What do you think? Do you think I'm an awesome baddie? Okay, she doesn't care. All right, let's go ask other people in Brickhaven if they think I look like an awesome baddie. Uh, I don't know what you got going on there, girl, but okay, here we go. Um, am I an awesome baddie? I mean, I know you got wings and stuff, so you're cooler than I am, but here we go. Am I an awesome baddie? Hey, where you going? We're still talking. Okay. Let me go ask them. Am I an awesome baddie? <laughs> Come on, answer me, please. Am I an awesome baddie? I need to prove to this um bully that I'm actually an awesome baddie. Anybody? Anybody answering? They think you're a loser. That's not what they're answering. Look at this girl. She looks like another baddie. So I'm going to go ring her doorbell. I'm going to ask her if she thinks I'm an awesome baddie. Hello? Is anybody home? I need you to prove that I'm an awesome baddie. Okay, I'm not sure anybody's home there. Um, let's go down the street and see if there's anybody else home that I can ask them. I'm going to ask you one last time. Am I an awesome baddie? Come on, you better answer. There, whatever you are, fairy. Um, just answer. <laughs> she thinks you're a loser. She doesn't want to talk to you. Am I an awesome baddie? You better answer. If you don't, I'm just going to tell you, you smell. You smell! Okay, this is... This is what this is what you would do if you were a baddie and they weren't saying what you wanted. Stinky. <laughs> Who farted? <laughs> He's not saying anything. Are you even in the game? Am I a baddie? Huh? Huh? You gonna talk to me? Huh? Are you gonna? Please, somebody talk to me! No, you're a fart? 
Okay, well, I guess I sort of deserve that since I've been talking about farts in the server like for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> hey, aren't I the best baddie ever? Like you've ever seen? What's a baddie? What, do you live under a rock? A baddie is me! Aren't I the best baddie ever? Just say yes. Just say yes. Please say yes! Hey, I'm the bestest baddie ever, right? You can be anything you want. That's right! I'm the best baddie! Say, say I'm the best baddie. Say I'm the best baddie. Come on. I need to win this competition. I just need one person to say I'm the best baddie. You're the best baddie! <laughs> Wait a minute. Dad? That's right, honey. You can be anything you want to be. Dad? <laughs> His opinion doesn't even count. Steph? Oh, man, Dad. This was supposed to be a competition. And, well, you don't count. What? Dear old Dad can't tell you're the best baddie? I mean, I was just the best baddie, so you have to be the best baddie, too. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> We have 100 hacks and secrets in Brookhaven to show you guys. And this first one is like so crazy. You see, I almost didn't want to tell you about it because I felt like you might not want to do it. Why? Are we going to get in trouble at Roblox? Well, um, so every time I tested this hack before we started making this video, I kept getting disconnected from the game. I think it might actually ban us. What? Ban us? Are you crazy? Maddie, do you think we should do this? I don't know. Guys, I'm doing this. I want to show you guys um, what's going to happen when we keep doing this hack and we get disconnected. Because I don't even know myself. So the first thing we need to do is go down and get this new like government science lab thing. Wait, what? A new science lab? <gasps> Ooh. Daisy, this has been around for a little bit now. Have you just been doing homework like with your entire life? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm drooling over this science lab. Look at it. <gasps> Big goals for my adulthood. <laughs> Guys, next I'm going to spawn this adorable little car right here. And get in, Daisy. Maddie, I can't get in. There's a baby there. Oh, well, I guess you're going to have to run in the back. But, but, okay, fine. Hey, baby safety comes first. Well, then you should definitely not be driving. Hey, I don't think I'm that bad of a driver. Look at me! Yeah, look at you running into the wall. Good thing that there's not actual, like, military people guarding us. You'd be kicked out in no time. Molly, this is taking forever. Let me drive, pug! Okay, my sister wants to drive because she thinks I'm a bad driver. And, well, she may have a little bit of a point. <laughs> Just a little one. Molly, climb on the back. Okay, I did. Wow, Jeez, you're really making me look bad with driving through those doors on the first try. Well, I'm an awesome driver. I have to be. My son is in here. Oh, very funny. All right, guys. So now what you want to do is um go into the surgical testing room. Guys, look at this in here. This is crazy. If you touch this, like these buttons, look at all this crazy stuff it does. But we're looking for one that we definitely want to use. And that is this giant like water water tornado guys you can swim all the way up look at this oh <laughs> look at this oh my god that's so cool all right guys so what i want to do is float my little purple car well i'm sw look at i was swimming like outside of it that was weird all right i want to float my purple car in this water but every time i've tried it the game has disconnected me so i don't know what's gonna happen we better not get banned, Molly. I love Brookhaven. Guys, we're going to test this for you. We don't know what's going to happen. All right, Daisy. Back up and floor it. Here we go, guys. Oh, my God. She's floating in the water. What? We got disconnected again? OMG, Molly. This is definitely a hack that Brookhaven does not want you to do. Uh, Yeah, but it was cool. We floated our car in the water. That was amazing. I know, but if it's disconnecting you every time, it's a bad idea, Molly. Don't click reconnect. I'm clicking reconnect because, guys, I want to see what happens if you do this a bunch of times. All right, guys, here's the second try. We're back down into the science lab here with our car. 
It only took Daisy like five tries to get down here. What? Okay, yeah, it did. It's kind of a tight space. All right, so she's going to try it from this angle now, and we're going to see if we get disconnected again. Oh, <laughs> Daisy! Oh, my gosh. We keep getting disconnected. This is bad, Molly. I, I don't think we should do it. I, I think we should do it a third time because I'm feeling like it's just going to disconnect us. It's not going to actually ban us or anything. This time, when Daisy floats the car in the water, she's going to jump out and try swimming. And we're going to see if the car <laughs> still stays up there and if we get disconnected. Okay, Molly, here goes nothing. All right, guys. Daisy, did you get out? Oh, my God. Daisy got out. And that time, we didn't get disconnected. Whoa. Okay, Molly, let's try it again. I don't think you can swim, like, swim in it, though. Once you jump out, the car just falls. Yeah, I think so, Molly, but let's try to float the car for at least five seconds. Yeah, let's do this. It goes nothing. Okay, that floated it not in the water. Let's just, like, float it in the water. I'm trying, Miss Peaky. It's not like this is the easiest hack in the world. It's a very small space to drive your car around in, Molly. Can you imagine if this was real life and you're, like, ruining your car to float it in the water? That'd be a very bad idea. All right, guys. I kind of want to see what it looks like from above when she floats the car. So I'm just going to go up here and we can take a look and see. Okay, guys? All right, Daisy. We're ready when you are. Let's see if we can see Daisy. Okay, Daisy. I don't really see you. Yeah, um, no, you do, Molly. You do. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, I was sort of, like, swimming up there. Oh, man, now you're stuck, aren't you, Daisy? Um, nope, I'm not stuck. I'm just floating. Ah! Molly, they really do not want you to do this hack in Brookhaven. We should stop now before someone bans us. Banch, man. -la 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 I'm doing it again, and I'm going to see if I can float the car for five seconds or longer. This time, I'm going to ride in the back. Here we go, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> Whoa! It glitched me up into the ceiling! Alright, let's try again. Oh my god, guys! That is so cool! I cannot believe this! This is amazing! We're like floating in the water! Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Wait! What? Molly! It says we've been banned for 24 hours! Wait, no, this can't be right! Or Roblox video stars! I don't think they care, Molly! It says we've been banned! O-M-G! That's so cool. And also, not so cool. Guys, I can't believe we actually found a hack that would get us banned in Brookhaven. Make sure you watch these next videos to watch 99 other hacks and secrets we found in Roblox. All right, guys. I guess we'll see you in 24 hours. Yeah. I guess you gotta do your homework, Molly. Not a chance! <laughs>
back to eating a delicious donut. As you can see here, I'm making a delicious apple that's baked in the oven. Super delicious and good for you. Hey, I'm Molly, her slob of a sister. I dress bad and I eat way too many donuts. Molly, get out of my TikTok. <laughs> I'm pushing send. <laughs> it's uploaded on your TikTok. Nah, 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 nah. Molly, how could you? Wait a minute. I've already got 10 likes on that. Wait, what? They think that we're funny together? Yeah, you're funny looking. Molly, rude! Oh my god, now we have a thousand people liking it. Oh my god, Molly! It went up to 50,000! What? It's been like 30 seconds. Mm. I'm getting more TikTok subscribers before I even finish this donut. Ugh. Okay, now I got a little bit of a stomach ache. And these pants are getting a little tight. Molly! We're going to be TikTok famous. So, TikTok fans, if you want to have these adorable pigtails like I have, you just have to brush your hair exactly like this. Daisy, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. <coughs> Molly, I'm making a TikTok. What do you want? <coughs> I need to use the potty. Seriously, Molly? Well, I guess it's TikTok gold. Well, whatever, but get out. Okay, TikTok fans, I'm going to show you how to get your beach body just in time for spring break. That's why right, let's start off with some jumping jacks in this new year, new you. Um, you could do all that, or you could say whatever, and sit on your couch and eat lots of donuts, till your pants don't fit, till your stomach explodes. Sounds like the good life to me. Molly! You could have put another TikTok. Ha ha ha. I don't think I'm ruining them. Everybody loves my personality. Holy guacamole. Macaroni and cheese. Hot dogs with ketchup. Yeah, Molly, we get the point. Food, food, and food. I can't believe that our TikTok has 1.5 billion people that are fans. I know, right? This is amazing. We should go celebrate with um food. Molly, no. New Year, New You is all about healthy choices. And we could do something like yoga as a celebration. Is my sister kidding me right now? Like, seriously? Yoga? No, girl. You earn this. We're going for an ice cream. Well, they do have the frozen yogurt option, so I guess it's okay. Uh, Daisy, life is about balance. Sometimes that balance means eating ice cream. Don't be such an income poop. Molly! I'm just saying, sometimes you just really need to have an ice cream. And girl, you need one. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. What can I get for you? I have a scoop of everything. Molly, new you, new you. You mean new year, new you? Yeah, whatever. Get one scoop, Molly. Wow, who knew you were so bossy? Well, I am a health guru now. TikTok even said so. Oh my god. <gasps> It's Molly and Daisy. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I'm such a huge fan. I have to go say hi to them. Did you just hear that? I think that girl knows who we are. Nah, it must be a different Molly and Daisy. We're not that famous. Hey, guys. It's Sarah. Welcome to my TikTok. And I'm here with Molly and Daisy. And hey, we didn't agree to be on your TikTok. Molly, come on. She's a fan. Don't be rude. Okay, well, she should have asked permission first. I, 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 I don't even look my best. Molly, you always look like that. Okay, but all right. She has a point. OMG, I can't believe it. This is amazing. What? You guys are famous and you're here at my at my ice cream shop? Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Um, yeah, we really are that famous, Daisy. Yeah, I realized that. Aren't you excited? New Year, new you on TikTok is doing amazing. It's blowing up. But Molly, everybody knows who we are everywhere now. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, me too. And I want a picture. And can you be in my YouTube video? And and also, can you come home and um just like sign my cat? I'm gonna sign your cat. Oh, it's it's a cat that doesn't have any fur, so you could use a sharpie. No, I'm not gonna sign the cat. Hi, yi yi. I just want my ice cream, and and I want to just go sit down. Daisy, are you okay? You seem like you're freaking out about being a celebrity. Because, Molly, I am. But you wanted New Year, New You on TikTok. Yeah, but now that I got fame, I want to give it back. Come on, Molly. Let's just go home and hide out. 
Good idea if you don't want to be famous, which I kind of do. No, Molly, I'm telling you. I can always see into the future. Wait, you can't? Are you some sort of like magical human or something? No, I'm just really smart. And this, this isn't going to go well at all. Well, if you say so, I think being famous is amazing. Finally, home sweet home. No people talking about how famous we are or anything. Yeah, but seriously, don't you want to be famous? I don't know, Molly. Seems kind of crazy to just go places and everybody recognizes you. What if I had ice cream on my face doing that girl's TikTok? Well, you could be like me and don't care. I'm eating a donut right now. And I don't really care if anybody sees. Hi, um, I didn't get a picture with you guys and so I followed you home. What? You can't follow us home. That's wrong and rude. <laughs> ha, ha, achoo! Ew, Molly, cover your nose. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to sneeze. Achoo! Molly, did you get sick? I don't know, maybe that fan had a cold and she got super close to me and gave it to me. Ew, germs! Well, I think you better get used to it because it seems like we're going to be mobbed by fans from here on out. We need a security camera. And maybe a fence. Whoa. Who is that? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It's someone who looks just like me because they saw my videos about how to do pigtails. Hey, I love you. I want to be just like you. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hot shoe. Creepy. Ugh. One of the fans definitely got me sick. I don't feel so good. <sighs> Molly, do you want a donut? Maybe it'll make you feel better. No, I don't want a donut. Now I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh oh. Whoa, she really is sick. If going to eat a donut's going to make her throw up. <sighs> Did you see that TikTok where Molly was like, don't work out. Just like hang out and eat on the couch. And <laughs> shove your face full of donuts. Yeah, I totally loved that one. It was hilarious. <laughs> we could be BFFs since we're such Molly and Daisy fans. I don't feel so good. Am I drooling? I don't know. I'm too busy over here vegging on the couch. Uh, 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 who got us sick? They aren't super fans. They're terrible fans. Hello, this is Bruce Springer for Action News. Today I have a breaking story. The new famous TikTokers Molly and Daisy are very sick. If you like reality TV, you're gonna love this one. Watch them puke! Watch them sneeze snot everywhere! Watch them run to the potty! Are you serious? Get out of our house! This one's obviously rude in real life. I don't know if you should like her. Oh, maybe unsubscribe. What? Don't tell people that! Rude! Get out! Molly, there's only one thing left to do. Run! I don't know if I can run. I gotta go potty! Oh, hello, adoring fans. It's me, Bruce Springer. Get out of the way, Bruce. I just want to be your friend. Come back, Molly. Come on. We could be BFFs. Get away from me, crazy Daisy wannabe. <laughs> huh, huh, huh. Come on. I could build a house right next door to you. It would be so much fun, right? No, stay away from me. Hurry, Molly, come down here into my science lab. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about this, but I've been working on a new project. Is it quitting TikTok? Well, no, I mean, we're already famous at TikTok. Kind of hard to go back now, but I have a solution. Well, I hope it's a good one. Ha, ha, choo! Because I don't feel good and I don't want Bruce Springer, like, putting me on the news when I'm sick. Achoo! Come here, Molly. I want to show you something. What is that? A giant person made out of jello? Sort of, Molly. I haven't quite finished programming it yet. But in a moment's time, you'll see what I'm up to. I don't know, Daisy. This seems a little like weird science to me. Uh, Daisy, I think you're cooking your jello, man. Don't worry, Molly, that this is going to work. It just has to. Holy macaroni and cheese! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a clone! That's right, Molly, and I'm making one for you, too. Which means next time, when someone thinks it's us, it won't be us at all! It'll be our clone! Watch this. Hey, Daisy Clone. Hey, 
I just want to let you know, you guys are the best fans in the whole world. See? Daisy Clone is amazing. I had to sit down for a minute. I'm a little lightheaded about how awesome I am to design this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Daisy. Hi, hi. I'm your biggest fan. I'm even wearing Daisy pants because, you know, your name is Daisy, just like the flower. And oh my God, where's Molly? Hi, you're the nicest fans in the world. I love you. Whoa, she said she loved us. Did you hear that? I totally did. Oh my God, that's amazing. So, um, will you sign an autograph? Sure, I'll sign an autograph. You're the most amazing fans in the world. I love you. Holy guacamole! The Daisy clone is working! Now we just need a clone of me, and it's all smooth sailing. <laughs> Dr. Barker for seeing us today. Now, Molly, tell him what your symptoms are. I don't want it. Molly, what's well, embarrassing? <sighs> Molly has been having some tummy troubles. Oh, I see. What kind of tummy troubles, Molly? Like the stomach bug or? Actually, she's been having a lot of gas <sighs> and running to the bathroom. Mom, this is humiliating. Molly, he's a doctor. It's totally fine. You probably just need to have an x-ray of your tummy or an ultrasound, and then they'll just give you some medicine and you'll feel all better. You don't want your stomach to hurt anymore, do you? Uh. I think it's a really good idea, Molly, for you to go in and have an ultrasound and an x-ray just to make sure there's nothing going on with your tummy, okay? Fine, let's do this. Yeah. See, doctor? She definitely needs to be here. Hey, a little fart now and again isn't gonna kill anybody. Oh, I don't know. That one just might. Okay, get in the x-ray machine and let's close the door quick before I die of the smell. Oh, very funny, doctor. Very funny. Okay, Molly, I just need you to lie completely still. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back in the room and we'll have a little discussion with your mom. Fine. I hate going to the doctor, seriously. Sometimes coming to the doctor is necessary to keep you healthy. And it seems to me that you most definitely are lactose intolerant. What? What does that mean? It means you're allergic to milk and milk products. You can't have cheese or milk or what? I love cheese, especially on tacos and on soup mm. and on salads when you make me eat a salad, which is annoying, except for the cheese. I can't eat cheese anymore. Um, I'm really sorry, Molly, but you also can't have any, um, ice cream. Ah! This is the worst day of my life! Take it back! I don't want to be lactose intolerant. Please, doctor, I'll give you anything! I'll give you a million dollars! I don't have a million dollars, but please, take it back! I'm sorry, it's the diagnosis. It's how your body works. You can learn to live with it. You can have almond ice cream. Almonds? Now, how on earth do they make almonds into ice cream? Ew! Now remember, Molly, what the doctor said. No more milk products or your tummy will really hurt. Uh-oh! This stinks! I know, Molly, but I'll try to pick up some new things at the store that you can try out, and um, they should be pretty good, I'm hoping. Ugh! Oh, this lousy apple tastes so healthy! I just want to eat something delicious like pizza. Ugh. Hey, Molly, what's up? How'd your doctor appointment go? Well, I guess it was fine. Oh, wow. Let's turn your phone upside down. My treat. We could go get ice cream. Wait, um, what? Yeah, my treat. We could get your favorite strawberry. Mmm. Um, uh, well, um, sure, why not? Yeah, you hesitated there, Molly. Are you sure that it'll be okay with your tummy and everything? It'll be just fine with my tummy. I'll make it fine with my tummy. Okay, let's go. Mm, this ice cream's delicious. Tell me about it. Mint chocolate chip is one of my favorites. So, Molly, did they tell you what was wrong with your tummy at the doctor? Um, uh, not really. Everything's just fine. Oh, that's good, Molly. Whoa, Molly. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just processing my ice cream, okay? 
All right, Molly, you don't have to get so rude about it. Mm, they really do have the best ice cream. Yes, sweetest in Brookhaven. Ugh, uh oh. I don't feel so good. Why did I eat that ice cream yesterday? Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly, how are you? Whoa, Molly, are you all right? It looks like you're gonna like faint or barf. I know. My stomach is kind of being weird. Uh, Molly, you don't think it's from that ice cream, do you? No, I'm sure it's not from that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, class, everybody settle down. Wow, it looks like a lot of people are out today. Must be the flu bug again. I think Molly might have the <gasps> flu. No, I don't. I'm fine. I swear, I'm fine. Molly, are you sure you're not in denial about what the doctor said? I'm fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I feel like I have to fart, but I can't do it in class. That'll be so embarrassing. Oh, why? Why me? Oh, well, good morning, Logan. Thank you for joining us. Oh, no. There's Logan. I hope he doesn't notice that my stomach's being weird. Whoa, Molly, why are you such a funny color? Do you have to, like, fart or something? <laughs> what? No, I don't have to fart. No, I don't have to fart. Oh, what is going on with my stomach? Come on, stomach. Work with me here. <laughs> so we meet again, Milk. <laughs> I can't believe she actually drank me. Now I get to exist once again. What kind of fart should I send her? Silent but deadly? <laughs> I'll embarrass her in front of everybody in the classroom. Thanks to you, Milk. We really do make a good team, don't we, Gas? <laughs> we sure do. <laughs> so, should I send her a silent but deadly? Or should I make it so loud the entire school blows up with a fart. <laughs> oh, what's going on with my stomach right now? Molly, don't fart. D -d -d don't do it. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> she can't hold me in forever. I'm about to burst onto the scene and make a party. A farty party. <laughs> oh, Gas, you're so funny. What's this? I can just move around a lot in here? <laughs> Her tummy will be bubbling all over the place. <laughs> oh, wait. Who's that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. You spoil all the fun. Step aside, Gas. The big boss is here. Oh, man. You spoil all the fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, teacher. 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 Yes, Molly. What is it? I have to go potty. Right now, right now. Molly, you always say you have to go to the bathroom and then you never come back to class. You skip class and say that you have to go to the bathroom. Not today. We have a quiz and I actually need you to pass it so you don't have to repeat this grade again. No, 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 no. I know a lot of other times I was just fibbing about having to go to the bathroom, but this time I really do. Let me go to the bathroom. Seriously, please, 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 please. Um, teacher, I don't think Molly is kidding around. I'm not kidding around. Let me go! Molly, do I need to give you detention? Uh-oh! Can't hold it in! I can't, 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 can't hold it in! Ah! Dude! She's gonna blow! Ah! <laughs> oh. My. Gosh! <laughs> Out of bed, you're gonna miss the school bus. No, I'm never getting out of bed ever again. Molly, Molly, you, you're so annoying sometimes. You have to get out of bed. Today's the day we get our report cards. Exactly why I'm never getting out of this bed. Do you not remember what mom said like three months ago? Oh, yes, I remember it like it was yesterday. You girls need to take school very serious. I want you both to come home with the best grades you possibly can. Because if you don't, you're going to be grounded for at least a month. That way you'll have more time to study. 
And that's exactly why I'm not getting out of bed. Because if I don't get out of bed, then I don't have to go to school. And if I don't go to school, I don't get my report card. And if I don't get my report card, then mom doesn't see I got any bad grades. And then I'm not grounded for a month. Am I getting through to you at all here? Yes, Molly, but mom's just going to make you go to school unless you're sick. Well, then. I feel extremely sick. Ah. Molly, wh what are you talking about? I've got zombieism. Ah. Molly, that's just makeup you put on. Mom's going to know. Now, come on. We have to go. We're going to be late. And then you're going to get detention and a bad grade. You're going to get grounded for two months instead. Ugh. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, baby Kira. I need your papa. Molly, what, what, what's wrong with you? Why are you painted green? <laughs> with that face, like, looking all mad right now? She looks like the Incredible Hulk, doesn't she? Daisy! I'm gonna go and grab a hulk on you if you don't leave me alone. Molly, what's gotten into you? Ugh, go take a shower and wash off all that green paint and turn your attitude to a friendlier one. It's time to get ready for school. Today's report card day. Don't remind me. Ugh, it's gonna be the worst day of my life. I just know it. Molly, come on, we don't wanna miss the school bus. Molly, what would you like for breakfast? You can take it on the run. I'm not even hungry. See you after school, Mom. Bye, Molly. Have a good day. Okay, I guess she's not going to say have a good day back to me. Oh, well, this is what it's like when your kids grow up. Overall, everyone has had a great report card this semester. There were a few people that failed a few of the classes, which was disappointing. But I want to say that one student in our school has had a huge improvement and I've decided to buy her ice cream every day for the week just because she's done so amazing. Huh, huh, I don't wanna get my report card. I know I've failed, and then mom's gonna ground me for a month. She's gonna be so disappointed in me. I just know it. Well, Molly, maybe you got most improved. You have worked extra hard this semester. Yeah, right. I'm never be smart enough to get most improved. Most improved goes to Molly Acker. I know, I know, I get detention again. Ugh. I'll show up at three o'clock, just like I always do. No, Molly, she got, she said you got most improved. Say what, me? I got most improved? Did I hear that right, Daisy? You sure did, Molly. Congratulations. Mom's gonna be so happy. Plus, you get free ice cream at every lunch. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Okay, everyone, let's calm down and I'll hand out the report cards. Remember, you need to have it signed by one of your parents. I don't think I've ever smiled this much in my life, ever. I can't stop smiling. My face hurts I'm smiling so much. It's frozen this way. Oh my gosh, I got all A's and B's. Mom and Dad are going to freak out. They're going to be so happy. <laughs> I get free ice cream for an entire week too. So happy right now. So happy. Daisy, I guess you got A's on the entire report card, in, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did fine, as I always do. <laughs> um, yeah, I did great. I did super great. Can't wait to get home. Can't wait to show Mom and Dad. Bet they're gonna buy me a car. Uh, Molly, I wouldn't depend on that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to show Mom my report card. Mom, 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 Wow, Molly, what has gotten into you? Did they feed you donuts for lunch again? No, 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 no. I got my report card, Mom. Guess what? I won most improved in the whole school. Well, I mean, <laughs> you did get detention like every day, so the bar is kind of low. Mom! <laughs> Let me see your report card, Molly. Here you go, Mom. What? All A's and B's? Yeah, you're gonna buy me a new car now, right? Um, no, Molly, but I am gonna say congratulations. I'm very proud of you. And you know what? I think we can go out to your favorite restaurant tonight to celebrate. Really? Mm-hmm, sure. I like that you buy, I like that I put my diaper. Um, where's your sister? I don't know, usually she's so excited to come in here and show you her report card. She was kind of dragging her feet when we were walking home. Oh, hmm, maybe something's bothering her. Why don't you go find her while I change baby Kira's diaper? Okay, Mom. Hmm, maybe she's in the backyard or something. 
Maybe she's sad that I'm smarter than her now. <laughs> Daisy! Daisy, where are you? Daisy! I can't believe it. This is the worst day ever. Daisy, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Why? What's going on? I can't talk to you about it, Molly. You wouldn't understand. Well, Mom wants you to come in. It's almost dinner time, and she wants to see your report card. Well, I guess it's time to face my doom. What are you talking about? <gasps> Did you fail something? Molly, get out of my face right now. Okay, fine. I was just trying to talk to you, but apparently you don't want to talk. I get it. I mean, I did amazing this time. That must make you feel pretty bad. Molly, did you find your sister? I, I went by in my diaper for Mama changed it. Yes, baby Kira, I know. Yes, I found Daisy. She's coming. Why are you frowning right now? You were so happy about your report card. Daisy, like, was rude to me. No, I wasn't. You're just annoying, okay? Go away. I need to talk to Mom alone. Okay, fine. No one's ever gotten into everybody today. I think it's I the baby. Da, 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 da. Daisy, why are you crying? What's wrong? Well, I'm embarrassed to admit this to you because I'm always so amazing and perfect. Well, Daisy, no one's perfect. What happened? I failed gym class. It wasn't my fault. They wanted us to run around and get all sweaty. And when I get sweaty, it ruins my pigtails. And I look ridiculous and frizzy all day. Do you want me to look frizzy, Mom? Do you want me to look frizzy? Daisy, this is serious. You failed a class. I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to ground you for a month. Ah! This is the worst day of my life. <gasps> Daisy failed? Dun, dun, dun. This is so weird. I'm usually the one that fails, and now it's Daisy? You little eavesdropper. I told you not to... To listen! Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. I'm gonna go crazy! Don't worry, Daisy. It's only a month. And it's so you can practice. Huh, Mom? How's she gonna practice gym? Daisy, run around the block 30 times and get really sweaty and make your pigtails really frizzy. There, that's gonna be your practice. Ugh, oh, that sounds terrible! I need time to work on my science project at night! Yes, but uh, Molly has a point. You are going to have to practice gym since that's what you failed. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to purposely fail lunch just so I have to practice eating more every single day for an entire month. <laughs> and I want what's on the menu, too. Pizza, ice cream. Molly! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> yeah, definitely going to fail lunch next time around. <laughs>I love you too. Have a great day with baby Kira. Yeah, she's been such a good girl lately. No temper tantrums or anything. Wow, great job, baby Kira. I get up on our watch TV. I get up on it. Honey, I made you a healthy breakfast. Oatmeal with apple slices. But honey, I'm a cop. I need to eat my donut. It's just a part of my job. Honey, I gotta go, honey. I love you. Bye, baby Kira. Love you. He never listens to me about eating healthy. Mama, I want TV now. No, sweetie, not right now. We have to go to the grocery store. I'm buying good grocery for. I want to I want play, watch TV. I'm buying riding the car. Sorry, baby Kara, but you do need to ride in the car because that's how we get to the grocery store. I walk there. Uh, not today, honey. That's a really... Wait, you're not allowed to leave without mama. Oh my gosh, I just got done saying to my husband that baby Kira has been temper tantrum free. But I just feel like today is going to be kind of crazy. Yeah, we can't walk there today because it's cold outside, sweetheart. So we're going to drive, okay? All right, let me just go get my purse. No, we're not skateboarding there either. Ay, 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 kids. Okay, baby Kira, I got my sweatshirt and my bag. Wait, wait, where is she? Baby Kira, this isn't funny. Baby Kira. Ugh, she wants to play hide and seek now? What? Maybe she's in going potty. No. Baby Kira, come out here this instant. Ah! Oh my god, she's on the railing. Baby Kira, get down before you get hurt, honey. I thought we I thought it was fun. 
No, not fun. Come on, go potty before we go so you don't have any accidents at the grocery store. I'm bike potty training. Potty train, boy. Baby Kira, what are you doing? I want a snack. You just ate breakfast. Come on, go in and go potty. Now, the floor is going to be lava in 10, 9, no, that's the floor is lava. 8, 7, 6, 5. Hurry, baby Kira, before the floor turns into lava. I made it, the floor not lava. I'm right up here just in case the lava comes back. Oh, great. I can get devoured by the lava. Perfect. Exactly. You're the mom, my so that's what happens. In you go, baby Kira. Make sure you buckle up your seatbelt. I am ma. Uh, I can to buckle my seatbelt. I can to be a good girl. Oh, that would be so great, baby Kira. Now let's head to the store. Whoa, the roads are kind of slippery today. Say hi to Molly and Daisy. They're at school today. Hi, Molly and Daisy. I got at school. I go to the grocery store. I have lots of snacks and stuff. Come on, baby Kira. Let's go inside. It's freezing out. I want to go inside. I like fresh air. Me too, but today might not be the day to get any. It's so cold outside. Okay, get in the cart. I walk. I'm big girl. No, no. You don't get to have your own car. Oh, my God. Baby Kira, you just put me inside the car. Okay, good. You're finally in the car. <sighs> I'm not being bad, Mom. No, not at all, Baby Kira. Oh, my goodness. Hi, welcome to Brookhaven Mart. How are you doing today? We're good, thank you. We're just going to pick up some groceries. Oh, great. Someone with a kid. I bet their kid's going to be totally annoying. Oh, hey, Karen. Nice to see you. Sort of. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Nice to see you too, Laura. All right, we need some apples, some bananas. Ooh, the red apples look really good this week too. I want Doritos! No, no Doritos. We're going to try to eat healthy. Your dad definitely needs to. He's been eating far too many donuts lately. I want Doritos! Baby Kira, we're not having Doritos right now. I want those... I I want to talk about it, 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 it. No, no candy, honey. I want candy. Baby Kira, this is not like you. What? Why are you crying? I don't know. I just want candy. I want candy. I want the window. Baby Kira, stop this. This is so embarrassing. I want it. I want it. I want it. Whoa, your kid is a total brat. Thanks for pointing that out, Karen. Oh, baby Kira. Come on, mommy will pick you up. There, there. Please stop this. It's really embarrassing. I want candy. Baby Kira, enough of this. Seriously, you're going to get a time out. I know it's disappointing to can't ha you can't have treats when you want one, but not this week. <laughs> Maybe you really just need a nap. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm just going to hurry up at the grocery store. Why don't you just leave the grocery store? Your kid is being so annoying. Karen, you obviously don't have children, but sometimes they have temper tantrums. Uh, what are you doing? Take me out of your cart. I'm going to take you out of here because you're so annoying. Uh, okay, now we're getting in a, in a cart jam. Get out of my way, Karen. St stop it. You're in my way. Hey, why am I sitting in your cart now? Oh my gosh, she is so annoying. Baby Kara, seriously, stop having a tantrum. Please, you're embarrassing me in front of Karen and, and everyone in the grocery store. I want what I want. I know you want what you want. Hurry up and get me checked out. I can't stand being around that kid's, that person's brat anymore. Hey, that brat you're talking about is my daughter and she's two years old. Two-year-olds have temper tantrums sometimes, Karen. Well, if I ever have kids, they're going to be perfect angels. I bet, Karen. I bet they'll take right after you. Um, okay, does your daughter want a lollipop? No, she's having a temper tantrum. She's not allowed to have a lollipop. I'm a lollipop! <laughs> Baby Kira, that was so embarrassing at the grocery store. Why were you so naughty and had such a bad temper tantrum? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I think you just need a nap. That's probably definitely what it is. Don't cry, sweetie. After your nap, you'll feel all better. I want a nap. 
Oh, honey, I know. You don't like taking naps because you're little. When you're a grown-up, though, and you get to take a nap, it's like the best thing ever. Here's your bottle, sweetie. Now have a good night-night, please. Please. I just need a break. Have a good night-night, please. I just need to sit here for, like, a minute and just relax. Oh, I'm feeling kind of sleepy. Two hours later. Honey, I'm home. Honey? Whoa, must have been a rough day. Good thing I got this takeout. What? what? Where's, uh, where's baby Kira? Where's baby Kira? What? I don't know. I haven't been here today. How come you don't know where baby Kira is? Oh my god, I, I had this dream that she ran out into the street and, and was eating candy and 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 and, and she... she she almost got hit by a car! Honey, calm down. Where was the last time you saw her? Oh, <laughs> I put her down for a nap, but she's probably not still there because she's been so naughty today. Honey, I'm I'm sure everything's fine. Wow, did you have a bad day or what? There she is. I can see her little pigtails. Isn't she so adorable when she's sleeping? Yeah, <laughs> that's about the only time now. She's going through the terrible twos. Yes, and they are extremely terrible. Times a million! What happened, honey? She had a giant temper tantrum in the middle of the grocery store and embarrassed me in front of everyone, including this rude Karen who kept calling our daughter a brat. That is rude! She might be a brat, but she's our brat! And you're not allowed to call her a brat unless you're, well, me! <laughs> well, let's wake her up and see if she's in a better mood. Hi, baby Kira! You slept for two and a half hours. How you feeling? Well, that's good, because I brought you a happy meal. A happy meal, yay! Ew, something smells horrible. I read poo poo in my diaper. Ah, the work of a mother never ends. So, Brookie, what did Luke say after you told him that? Oh, he didn't really say anything. He kind of just ran out of the room. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, Brookie, I gotta go. My sister's being annoying. What? I am not, Molly. Okay, Molly, well, try not to fight too much. I love you both. You're both my best friends, and I want you guys to get along. You don't have sisters. You don't know what it's like. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, because, Molly, um, I accidentally spilled water on my sheets, and my bed is wet. I don't care. This is my bed. Get off of it. It's my property. Molly, I'm studying for my science test, and it's very important. Besides that, Dad's downstairs running the vacuum. I can't study down there, and I can't sit on a wet mattress. Ugh. Why do I have to share a room with my sister? That's it. I've had it. Mom! 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 What is it now, Molly? Oh, my gosh. I'm washing these dishes. Mom, I want my own room. No, I need my own room. Well, Molly, there's only one bedroom for you and Daisy. One for baby Kira, which you don't want a room with her because she's up half the night crying and needing a diaper and a bottle and... Ah! Why can't I have my own room? I'm the oldest. You got your own room. No, correction. I have to share it with your dad and he snores and talks in his sleep. Sometimes he even farts in his sleep. Ew, gross. Look, Molly... This is the house that your father and I can afford. Yeah, and it's great, isn't it? Even as an elevator. I never thought I'd live this amazingly. Oh, man, this house is great. Well, it doesn't seem that great to me. Why don't we buy one that has a, my own room and Daisy has her own room? Molly, you obviously don't remember what our first house was like. Yeah, Dan, she was too little. <laughs> but I remember that house like it was yesterday. Baby shark do 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 Baby shark do 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 Molly, be quiet. I can't hear Coco mowing. No, I want to sing it. Baby shark do 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 You're super annoying, Molly. Oh, you're super annoying. Okay, girls, that's enough fighting. Come on in the kitchen. Your mom and I are making something delicious for dinner. I kind of hungry. Me too. I'm kind of hungry too. What are we having? Oh, look, girls. It's taco night. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited, Molly? What's 
What's wrong, Molly? Why the sour face, honey? Oh, I don't want to eat any tacos. What? Why not, honey? You love taco night. It's so much fun. You get to make your own taco, and it tastes so delicious it goes into your tummy. I don't want to put anything in my tummy. Oh, do you have a tummy ache? Yeah, I have a really bad tummy ache all of a sudden. I think I think I need to go sit back down and watch Baby Shark. Oh, I think she just wants to watch Baby Shark instead of eat dinner. Um, Dan, you obviously don't know our daughter. <laughs> Her want to watch anything over eating tacos? I don't think so. She loves tacos. I really don't think she has any desire to eat dinner. She just acts like she doesn't feel good. Oh, my tummy really hurts. Oh, honey, I'm gonna go get you some medicine, okay? And you can drink some Pepto-Bismol, maybe to make your tummy feel better. I don't want to take medicine. I don't like medicine! Okay, honey, here's some Pepto-Bismol. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it! Molly, come on. Be brave. Take deep breath. You can do this. Come on, Molly. You can take the medicine. It's okay. <laughs> I'll give you a um, prize. Do we actually have a prize? Oh no, I'll have to look around and see if I have a toy or something that we forgot to give her for her birthday. <laughs> Just take the medicine, honey. Your tummy really hurts. Ew, it tastes gross. I know it tastes gross. Hey, look it. Look what I've got. I took my medicine so I get that cute little monkey, right? That's right, sweetheart. Oh, here you go, honey. You can have the monkey. Thank you, Daddy. It's really cute. Oh, no. With the monkey, my tummy doesn't feel so good. Uh-oh, honey. Do you need the pukey bucket? I didn't miss the bucket. I didn't miss the bucket. I didn't miss the bucket. Uh-oh, uh, he's going to throw up. Oh, boy. Looks like somebody might have the stomach bug. Oh, no. If she's got the stomach bug, it means... We're all going to get the stomach bug. Not me. I'm not going to get it. Oh, my God. My tongue queen. Oh, man. She must have a fever. She's got it really bad. Well, I just gave her the medicine, so hopefully some of it stayed down there before she threw up. Don't worry, Molly. Pepto-Bismol always makes me want to throw up, too. It tastes terrible. I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to throw up my taco. Ew, gross. That's so disgusting. Ugh. Man, I can't even move off the couch right now. Tommy hurts so bad. Oh my gosh, they both have the stomach bug, Laura. We're doomed! What are you wearing? I'm getting my hazmat suit and uh, my face mask and uh, um, uh, I need to get some hand sanitizer. Oh, honey, I think we're probably going to get the stomach bug too. You know how that germs happen. The stomach bug is relentless. And we only have one bathroom! Ah! Wow, Mommy, I never thought we'd be so sick that we'd match the couch. I know, we're so sick we turn green. Oh, I have to try to make it to the toilet. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it. Oh, I gotta change my clothes again. I hope you hurry up in there, Dan. I, I need to throw up. I need to use the bathroom. I gotta go potty. Me too. Why do we have a house that only has one bathroom? <laughs> oh no! Oh! My turn, I have to go potty next. I'm not gonna wait either, I have to go so bad. Wait, where's the potty? There it is, I forgot for a minute. It's because I'm so weak from having the stomach bug. Oh! I just, I just throw up in the shower, I guess, you know. Cause, <sighs> Girls, can you hurry up? I need to use the potty again. I'm not done in here. <clears throat> oh, man. I think I'm going to throw up in the sink. Oh. <clears throat> Are you girls almost done? I have to go to the bathroom. <clears throat> no, never mind. Too late. And that's why we saved up to buy a bigger house. We needed more than one bathroom. Holy guacamole, that sounds awful. Yeah, this house was really expensive. Brookhaven is, well, very expensive to live in, and so we did the best we could. But rest assured, if you ever have to go potty because you have the stomach bug, there's more than one bathroom. <laughs>
Yeah, too bad there's not more than one bedroom for me and Daisy. But I'm thankful and grateful that you guys bought us such a nice house to live in. I guess I am pretty lucky. Aw, thanks for saying that, Molly. Well, I better get started on dinner. Dinner? What are we having? Are we having tacos? I never want to look at another taco again after that day. Me either. I love tacos. I know, but your father and I can only have tacos like once a month. Every time we think about them, it's like, oh, I'm reliving that throwing up thing all over again. Anyway, we're having nice, healthy, delicious salads. Oh, salad. No, honey, what's wrong? Are, are you getting a stomach bug again? No, I just can't stand the thought of another salad. Oh, oh I'm with Molly. I'm having a hot dog. See, dad's eating a hot dog while I gotta eat salad. I don't wanna eat salad. Dan, we're setting a good example for the girls. Stop eating the hot dog. You're not the boss of me. I can eat a hot dog if I want to, unless you can catch me. Oh, wow. So grown up of him, huh? Yeah, well, you just can't make your father eat healthy. You just can't. <laughs> class. You're just looking at a picture of a raccoon. Okay, yeah, but I was just checking my email and, and I, got a, I got a message from our teacher. Oh, great. You have detention. Again. No, no, no. This is really exciting. Um, <laughs> we're having pizza for lunch tomorrow. No, even more exciting than that. <gasps> I don't know anything more exciting than pizza when it comes to you, Molly. We are going on a school field trip. Going to the water park. Going to the water park. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait. Wait a minute. Molly, stop dancing. Molly! Sorry, I got a little too excited doing the chicken dance. And I had a taco for lunch. We can't go to the water park, Molly. What? Why not? Because that's going to cost a lot of money, and we don't have that kind of money. But, 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 it's the water park. Maybe it's free. Molly, you know the water park isn't free. And when it comes to school trips, we have to pay to go ourselves. Remember when we went to the Philadelphia Zoo? Oh, I remember it all right. I remember it perfectly. Stay away from me, Psycho Bunny. Stay back. Stay, stay back. Oh, you're so cute and also very creepy. Ah, it's chasing me. Oh, bad memories. Bad memories. <laughs> Only you would get chased by a Psycho Bunny. <laughs> oh, yeah, so funny. Anyway, this school trip is going to be so much cooler. Yeah, Molly, except for the fact we don't have any money to go. Ow! Oh, you're right. The best day ever just turned into the worst day ever. I feel like I'm going to cry. I need to go call Brookie. She'll listen to me cry. Uh, Molly, maybe she's busy. She's never too busy to talk to her best friend. Not ever. Hey, Brookie, it's me. Can I call you? Hey, Molly, sure. You never want to call me on the phone. You just want to text. Is everything okay? I'm just going to call you. Hi, what's up, Molly? Are you okay? Not really. Did you get the email from our teacher? Yeah, I totally did. A, a school trip to, to the water park? That sounds amazing. <coughs> yeah, except for if you're me and Daisy. We don't have any money to go. No, I don't really either. I only have like $5 saved. Really? That's more than I have. I don't know what to do. Look, Molly, you know I sort of have an entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> and, well, I was just thinking of a way that we could earn the money to go to the water park. All three of us. Seriously? You have an idea? Of course I do. I was thinking that we could start a lemonade stand. Hot dog, Brookie! Hot dogs? No, Molly. I don't think a hot dog stand will do as well in Brookhaven. I think lemonade is where it's at. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant like hot dog. That's a good idea. You have all the most brilliant ideas. Well, unless it's about science, then Daisy's got you beat. 
Or if it's about, well, detention, you're pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, uh, you want to help us build the lemonade stand? Of course I do! According to my calculations, if we charge 25 cents per cup of lemonade, doo -doo -doo -doo, it will probably take us about two days to earn enough for all three of us to go to the water park. Unless we're really lucky because I make the world's best lemonade, and if people know about my lemonade, they're going to come here for sure. There, the 25 cent sign is all up. And I nailed it down just so it doesn't blow over. Wow, this looks amazing, guys. I can't believe we built this. The sign looks so professional. You have the best ideas ever. Time to test some of the lemonade. Uh, Molly, I don't think so. Woo, it's really, really tart. We need more sugar. We need more sugar. Oh. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? Try to look professional. I'm even wearing a lemonade stand uniform. I can't even move. That was so sour. Needs more sugar. Man, all of this building our lemonade stand was hard work. I'm starving. Me too, Molly. What do you have to eat in your house? I don't know, but I'm thinking DoorDash. Molly, we're spending our money before it's even made. Hey, you gotta spend some to earn some. And me having an empty stomach doesn't make me very friendly to customers. Okay, Molly, you have a point. What should we order? How about a pizza? Because those aren't very expensive. And there's a lot of slices, so we can get a lot for a little. You're so smart, Molly. Thank you. One large pizza, extra cheese. Anybody want pepperoni? No, no pepperoni. No, no pepperoni, Molly. Just extra cheese. All right, it says it'll be here in two minutes. Wow, <gasps> fast delivery. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, where's the pizza? Molly, it's been like one minute. There she is. Hi there. I'm here from DoorDash. This is like the hundredth order I've done today. Not a single person has given me a tip. Oh, cool. Um, well... I could give you a tip, except for I don't have any money. I'm sorry. That's why I started this lemonade stand. And again, I'm really sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it. Here's your order. Wait. What? Wait, get back here! These... This, this is not pizza! These are sauerkraut sandwiches! Ew, that smells like somebody's yeah. dirty foot. Yeah. And, 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 and I don't like smelling dirty feet sandwiches! Oh, well, Molly, just just get a refund and try again. Fine. It's not like I was starving or anything. One large pizza with extra cheese. <sighs> Quit sending me sauerkraut sandwiches. Here she comes again. Uh, hopefully this time she didn't send us anything gross. Well, Molly, I would have eaten a sauerkraut sandwich. It's kind of good for you. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, um... Here's your order. Didn't you just order something? Yeah, and you brought us sauerkraut sandwiches. It was the wrong order. No wonder you're not getting any tips. Sorry, I'm doing my best. Here's your order. Have a nice day. Uh-huh. Sure. It, this is KFC. Ooh, I love KFC. I know, but we ordered a pizza. My tummy was all hungry for one. Molly, remember in the freezer in the basement, Mom was saving that extra frozen pizza? We could always eat that. Yeah, good idea. Hmm, this frozen pizza is actually pretty good. Yeah, mine's still a little frozen in the middle, but I don't mind. Mmm. <laughs> it's like ice pizza. Very interesting. Well, now that we're done eating our pizza, I guess we're just going to have to wait for our first customer. They should be here any minute. Yep. Any minute now. Any minute. Any minute they're going to just drive right down our street. Or walk or ride their bike or push their baby in a baby carriage. Yeah. And they're going to just have to pay us 25 cents for our lemonade. Where are all the customers? How are we ever going to go to our water park trip if, if, if nobody comes? Don't worry. They'll show up, Molly. I'm sure of it. Still not a single customer! Ugh, this is not gonna work! We're not gonna even get one customer! <laughs> Molly, 
family, you have to be patient. Oh, look! A customer's coming! I see them! They're, 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 they're way on their way! Look at that! There's a Bentley coming up! They're gonna buy us like a hundred cups of lemonade and we're gonna close and go on our trip. Oh, wait, no, that's Brookie's mom. Hey, girls, Brookie, it's time for you to go home. You have to do extra studying. <gasps> but, but, Mom, I, 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 I'm doing my lemonade stand. Come on, Brookie, we had an agreement. You need to work on more schoolwork. Oh, bummer. Well, see you later, Brookie. Bye, guys. It was cool hanging out with you. Bye, Brookie. Mom, I can't believe you made me come home early. Look, Brookie, you are not doing good in math class. You need to spend more time studying, or you might have to repeat the grade, or or do summer school, or worse, both. But mom, it's not fair. It's so nice outside, and my friends are running a lemonade stand, and you're making me stay here and study. Well, your teacher said you got a terrible grade on your math test, so you need to go to your room and study. I've got some things to do around the house. <laughs> Fine, Mom. Brookie, I know you don't want this, but I'm doing it for your own good because I care about you. Uh huh, sure, Mom. I don't want to be doing extra math homework. This is so lame. I, I need to do something. Maybe the teacher will let me work for extra credit. Or maybe the teacher would just think I'm a nice person and give me a better grade. She loves chocolates and flowers. I could go to the store and buy her those. And I bet she'd change my grade. I just have to sneak out so that my mom doesn't see me. <laughs> la, 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 la. Ugh, there's so many dishes here. How does a family that's so small make so many dishes? Ugh, I hate doing the dishes. Well, I'm a grown-up, so I guess I have to. Look, Molly, I think we finally have a customer. Uh, Daisy? That lady is riding a horse! Well, maybe her horse is thirsty. <laughs> well, howdy there! I was wondering if I could have one of your lemonades for me and one for my horse. <laughs> Seriously? You want two lemonades? I sure do! It's pretty hot out here today and my horse gets really thirsty. You betcha! Two lemonades coming right up! Better make it three. Those are smaller glasses, and my horse is so thirsty. Well, it's sort of an interesting customer, but it's a customer. Oh, wait, Molly, give her three lemonades. Um, this is our very best lemonade. It's super delicious. Here you go, horsey. <laughs> Molly, are you gonna freak out like you did when that psycho rabbit teased you? No, I love horses. They're amazing. Lemonade, get your delicious, freshly squeezed, extra sugarly lemonade. <gasps> Hi! Extra sugary lemonade, you say? Oh, I could use a boost. I'm trying to get some extra homework done tonight. Well, I've got the thing just for you then. 25 cents, please. Sure thing. Ooh, this looks delicious. Mm. Lemonade, get your fresh hot lemonade. Molly, lemonade's not hot. And if it is, add more ice cubes. Hey, what's up? Whoa, he's sort of cute. <laughs> uh, Daisy? Um, thinks you're cute. Molly! <laughs> Oopsie, I don't think she wanted you to know that. Um, she's just kidding, by right, Molly? Uh, so could I have, like, a couple glasses of lemonade? I gotta go work out at the gym, and I'm really thirsty. Okay, sure, here you go. Whoa, thanks. And, uh, you're cute, too. Me? Uh, no, the pigtails. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, thanks. Step back any time. Bye. Oh, boy. You are ridiculous, Daisy. <sighs> but at least we've made tons of money. I think we've actually made enough so that we can uh, go on our water park field trip. Only thing is, is I drank some lemonade, too, and I have to go potty. So don't I really bad. Well, I'm sure the lemonade stand will be okay for a minute while we both go. I'll race ya. Bye, <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Hurry, Molly. I gotta go really bad. I'll try to. But no promises. Yeah. That frozen pizza was kind of cray-cray. Molly, hurry up. I've got to go too. All right, all right. I'm coming. Did you stink it up there, Stinky McStinko? Um. Uh-oh. Ay, 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 Molly. <laughs> it's a bathroom. You're supposed to stink it up. Last one to the lemonade stand's a rotten, stinky egg. Oh, wait, you already are, 
that. Oh, very funny. Hey, Daisy, where'd you put the money? What do you mean that I put the money? You probably took it up into the bathroom with you. Daisy, this isn't funny. There's like $50 missing from the 150. That's a whole portion of the money. Where is it? Honey, I'm serious. I don't have it. Well, you must have it because it's missing. I don't, Molly. I'm very responsible with money. You're the one that's not. Well, I didn't take the money. Oh, my God, Molly. Somebody stole some of our lemonade money. What? Th 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 that means that, that the three of us best friends can't go to the water park field trip together. <gasps> oh, no. This is terrible. I know. How will we even tell Brookie this has happened? It's all our fault because we took a potty break and... No, Molly, it's not our fault. It's the thieves' fault. <laughs> oh, no. Mrs. Griffin looks like she's in a great mood today. Uh-oh. Not. Mm, what are you doing here early? Class for another 20 minutes. Um... Mrs. Griffin, I brought your favorite. Aww. White roses. What? Why'd you bring those? I also brought your favorite Hershey smoked chocolate bar. That's nice. Why? It's not my birthday. Well, I just know that you're my fa you're your favorite. Those are your favorite, I mean. Sorry. I'm a little tongue-tied. But also, I'm hoping that I could be one of your favorite students. And maybe you could change your mind about the bad grade you gave me on my math test because I can't go to the water park if you give me a bad grade. Sorry, Brookie, but no can do. You got the grade, you earned the grade, you keep the grade. What? But I brought you flowers and chocolate! And they'll smell delicious, both of them. Wait, what? Are you going to eat the flowers? I mean, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm a math teacher, not an English teacher or a language teacher or whatever. Okay, um, well, could I do extra credit for a better grade? Please, please, I'm begging you. Okay, meet me after school. I'll let you do the extra credit, and then we'll talk about a better grade. Thank you, Mrs. Griffin, thank you. I just can't believe it. This has been the worst day of my life. Well, Molly, it's just started. Maybe it'll get better. If it's anything like yesterday, I don't think so. Hey, guys. What? Molly, Daisy, what's wrong? <gasps> Someone stole some of our money from our lemonade stand. They are evil, they're a monster, they're a criminal, and as soon as I find out who it is, I'm sending them to jail forever. What? Molly, you're being ridiculous right now. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Oh, really? Is there ever a reasonable explanation for someone being a thief? I don't think so. And I'm going to pursue the law to a thousand degrees. Uh, Molly, I'm not really sure that's how you say that. I don't care. They're going to pay for this. They're going to pay. Because now the three of us can't go to the water park together. Molly, I think you're being rude. I mean, I'm sure they had a good reason to take that money. What? I don't even know what you're talking about, but... But can't you see my tears in my eyes? You're supposed to be my best friend. Uh-oh. Okay, class. You can argue on your own time. Get in your seats, please. Are you ready for your extra credit? Um, yeah, but why are you holding a mop? Because, wait a minute, <laughs> did the janitor quit? Are you taking over his job part-time? No, you are. What? Why would you have me clean the school? Do you want to go on this water park trip and have your extra credit or not? Um, yeah, I do. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Count the classrooms as you go. It'll be very good, simple math for you to remember. Oh, hello. Are you selling Girl Scout cookies? Oh, why are you crying? Because um, I have a lemonade stand with my sister and my best friend across the street, and, and someone came and stole some of the money, and I was wondering, do you have a ring camera so I can review the footage and see who it was so I can turn them into the police? Absolutely. Um, let me just pull up my iPad. Okay, we can look at this together. Um, okay, here we go. Let's take a look. <gasps> what? Are you kidding me right now? It was Brookie who stole the money? Oh. 
them! She! Hey Molly, what's up? I'm kind of busy right now. Did you come by the lemonade stand and steal the money? What? Well, I... I... Okay, I helped build the lemonade stand, Molly, and... And, well... Well... You were supposed to split the money with me. But you still came by and didn't say anything and stole it. Well, I, I was going to, but you seemed so angry that... You know what? Th 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 that's it! We're not friends anymore! You're in deep trouble. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I need the police. Stat. Uh, my lemonade stand has been robbed by my best friend, and I'd like to press charges. Uh-oh! Whoa, harsh. You guys aren't going to be BFFs after this. She deserves this! She stole money! Wow, the janitor has a really hard job. Are you Brookie? Cookie? Uh-oh! Uh, yeah, that's what my friends call me unofficially. You are under arrest. What? Is this about the lemonade stand money? Absolutely. A thief does the crime, a thief does the time. <gasps> but that was my money. I only took my portion of it. Sorry, but I have no choice. A thief is a thief is a thief. Every thief thinks the money is theirs, and it's not. I can't believe my best friend would do this to me. I, I, I'm I, never going to be your best friend ever again, Molly. Not ever. Uh-huh. That's what they all say. Oh, you have the right to remain silent. Yes, but I don't want to be. My best friend is so mean. Blah, 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 Molly. Well, that's all you could come up with as a comeback? Well, I... Yes! I'm too mad. My brain is... I don't know. I've been mopping all afternoon. It's probably the fumes from the Mr. Clean. I understand. Sometimes I have to clean, clean the pre-stinked pre bathroom after everybody stinks. Ew! Up. Ew, Gross. I don't want to be a cop if that's a part of my job. Oh, I can't believe this. All I did was want to go on the field trip. Oh, oh now I lost my best friend and I'm in prison. Worst ending ever. <laughs> Yeah, baby Kayla, we've been waiting all week to watch this. I can't wait to see my favorite gymnast. She's up next. Special news report. Sorry, we have to interrupt your gymnastic competition. What? Oh, they always do this every time. We can watch Coco Manny. There's nothing on but this news channel. What are they talking about? Well, a woman went missing for years, but our big news today, Stephanie, is that it's Wear Your Favorite Color Day! And guess what? If you wear your favorite color, you get a free ice cream! Wow! Say what? Oh my god, this is amazing! It's a fashionista's dream! Wear my favorite color, get an ice cream. How do they know if you're being honest about what your favorite color is, though? I mean, what if your favorite color is blue, like me, but you wear pink? They're just trusting you, man. <gasps> oh, wow, that's pretty nice of them. Well, I'm gonna wear my favorite color. Oh, wait, I already am. No, Molly, you have to wear your favorite color all the way from top to bottom. <laughs> and I have to paint my skin blue? <laughs> okay, that's a little weird. I'll show you what, how to do it, Molly, because I'm a fashionista and I know this kind of stuff. Boom, perfect. Pink is obviously my favorite color. I even have a pink lollipop. Holy guacamole, Daisy! Your hair looks so different! Well, it's wearing your favorite color day, so I decided to take down my pigtails and dye my hair pink. Whoa! <laughs> You're definitely gonna get the free ice cream! Alright, well, I guess it's my turn. And what's your favorite color, baby Kiwa? Rainbow! Uh, baby Kiwa, you don't understand the assignment. It's supposed to be your favorite color. I know, Dan, I told you. Rainbow! <laughs> I didn't know what it is. No, you're just supposed to pick one color. Just let her do what she wants. She's a baby. I'm sure they'll give her a free ice cream anyway. <laughs> I got it, you know. <laughs> Okay, well, um, let's get dressed. We can go to our ice cream. 
No, we're getting twisted our favorite colors because we love being our favorite color. No, I'm just doing it so I can get free ice cream. Why are you so tall? Take off those heels. I don't think so. I think these heels look adorable on me. Yeah, but they make you look a giant. Uh, correction, they make me fabulous. <coughs> Is everybody ready to go? Molly, what are you wearing? My imposter costume from last Halloween. It's the bluest thing I own. I'm blue. I'm blue. Molly, I am not being seen out in public with you wearing that. What? I think I look great. Oh, baby Kira, look at how cute she looks in that little rainbow dino sweatshirt. She looks adorable. That is a cute hoodie. But Molly, we are not going like that. Too bad I'm going like that. We are going for ice cream. Let's go. <coughs> Molly, you can't even walk in that costume. You just sort of waddle. Well, <laughs> too bad. Actually, I'll be waddling after I eat all that ice cream anyway, so I don't really care. Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe this girl is my sister. Watch this. This is so cool about Roblox. I'm totally going to teleport. <gasps> do, 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 do. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Dizzy, why did you bring your own spoon? <laughs> they have spoons at Coastal Combs. What? What are you talking about? On the side of your bag? There's a spoon there. What? Molly, that's not a spoon. It's the handle to my bag. Um, okay. Anybody who's watching this video right now, slam the like button if you think Daisy's purse looks like it has a spoon on it. Come on. That looks like a spoon. It's not a spoon. Uh, this is a very fashionable bag. It looks like a spoon. I did not wear a spoon on my purse. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Molly, look, there's a fitness center over there. We could work out after we get our ice cream. The only thing I'm worried about is fitting this whole ice cream cone in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, very funny. Welcome to Coastal Cones. <sighs> what can I get for you? Yuck, we're very good, very good cone. And we get free ice cream cone. Oh, look, I haven't heard that all day. I'm wearing my favorite color. Give me an ice cream. What are you supposed to, What are you supposed to be a blockhead? Um no. It's my costume from last Halloween. And it's from that game of Long Us, and my favorite color is blue. Could I have a strawberry ice cream with two scoops, please, for free? Whatever. Here you go. Yeah. Being wearing your favorite color, Day, she sure is grumpy. Hey, what's your favorite color? I don't have a favorite color. Say what? You don't have a favorite color? Who on earth doesn't have a favorite color? Apparently she doesn't, the ice cream worker. You might not want to eat that lollipop while you're also eating that ice cream. You're gonna rot your teeth. Um, yeah, okay, I'll have a chocolate ice cream cone, please. Excuse me, I didn't order strawberry, I ordered chocolate. Too bad, that's what you get. Um, yeah, okay. I am a, a rainbow ice cream. You get this watermelon. She obviously is not very happy about it being your favorite color, Jay. I hate it. I've had to work twice as hard at this ice cream shop today because the owner said I had to give out free ice cream. Mwah. I think that would make you really happy that you got to be so nice to people. Well, it doesn't. Come on, sisters. Let's go over to the beach and relax while we have ah! ice cream. Hey, you don't have to say thank you to me or anything. It's not like I've been working all day. What'd she say? Man, she was grumpy. Snapchat, Snapchat. Set me free. Take these colors away from me. Daisy, what is going on with your hair? <gasps> and your clothes. You look like Corella DeVille. What? What are you talking about? Ah! Whoa, what are you guys wearing? Baby Kill, why are you dressed out in black? And Molly, what is what is up with you? What? What are you talking about? I'm wearing <gasps> my costume. It's a totally different one that's just black and black. Like if I'm alien or some creepiness right there. OMG! We've been cursed! What? what are you talking about? It's in the ice cream, I bet! Stop eating it! Wait, but why? Why would we be cursed? I think 
Yeah, the ice cream person who gave us the ice cream mask, and she made it turn black and white. And she made it turn black and white. Wait, what? Why would she do that? Um, because she's really angry about having to serve this much ice cream today. Did you not notice? Guys, I think the town is looking a little black and white too. Oh, and she. Let's go talk to her. Maybe she'll change your mind. Oh, maybe she'll tell us what the antidote is for the ice cream cones. Ha 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 ha! This is perfect. No more serving ice cream to all you brats. What? That's not very really nice. You are more like the ice queen than the ice cream, Sobo. That's right. I am the ice queen. <laughs> I make everyone's heart turn to ice and everything black and white. <gasps> well, um, I was wondering, uh, could you kind of turn us back? Because I like pink. It's my favorite color. I don't think so. I just asked Snapchat to take all the colors away and everybody's losing their color one at a time until the entire town has been washed of color. <laughs> so you did this with Snapchat? Jeepers, I thought it was something you put in the ice cream. Nope. Snapchat granted my wish. Holy guacamole. Well then, if that's true, I'm going to pull out my Snapchat. Hey everybody, it's Daisy and don't even bother. I'm the Ice Queen and I'm in charge of Snapchat. Oh really, are you? Then what's this rainbow color? <laughs> oh Daisy, you're starting to sound like the evil one. Wait a minute. That put a rainbow face on me too. How could this be? Well, I just happen to be amazing at Snapchat. And obviously your spell with Snapchat is it working any longer? It is because everything is black and white. Listen, if you hate your job at the ice cream shop, maybe you should try something else. I mean, evil ice cream's working for you pretty good. Wait, are you saying that I should try getting a different job? Yeah, you don't like the one you got, obviously, if you're turning the whole town black and white. Cheapers, creepers, career change for you is necessary, I think. I do your job. I love ice cream, and I bet you get free cones, don't you? I like ice cream. If you work at ice cream shop, I will be the one who eats ice cream with you, Molly. Oh. I don't have to serve ice cream to brats anymore? Huh, why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> I'm off to be an evil villain. <laughs> now hear me, world. I am the villain ice queen. Is she seriously standing on top of the picnic table? <laughs> uh, Molly, just let her have a moment. Obviously, she's totally crazy. <laughs> I will make the whole world black and white. <laughs> Whoa, losing my balance. Whoa. <laughs> uh, um, I'm thinking maybe she's not very really good at being a villain either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what her job should be. Whoa, Molly Jack, a big ice cream cone bar with the freezer. I'm thinking that if we start serving everybody ice cream again, the world will go back to color. Ooh, that would be wonderful. Well, let's start with us. This ice cream looks delicious. I want some blueberry flavor. Mmm. I pile on some watermelon. What else makes me happy? Chocolate, strawberry, and mint chocolate chip. Woo, this ice cream looks so good. Daisy, it worked. Yay! We're back to our normal selves. And our town is back to color too. Um, the evil villain is still laying out there. And she's still black and white. It's because she's not happy. I think if we start giving everybody ice cream, everything will be back to normal. Agreed, Molly. Hey guys, welcome to my Snapchat. Today I'm working at Coastal Cones. And if you're still black and white, don't worry. I can change you back to color and you get a free cone while you're doing it. Head on down, guys. You think that will work, Daisy? Ah, uh, well, here's our first customer. Hey, guys. Luke, <gasps> is that you? Yeah, I got the black and white curse and uh, 
I need to have some ice cream to see if I can get rid of it. What's your favorite? Mint chocolate chip. You got it. Mint and chocolate. Eat this and you should be back to Kylo in no time. Wow, this ice cream is delicious. What happened to us anyway? Well, basically there was an evil ice cream that used a Snapchat curse to turn the entire town black and white, including us. Um, wear your favorite color day. I know, I was so excited about wear your favorite color day. I can't believe she did that. Yeah, she was really unhappy with her job. Whoa, it worked! Can you guess what my favorite color is? Um, green. You guessed it, Molly. You know me so well. Uh, yeah, we've been friends since preschool. Of course I do. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, last year's Halloween costume because my favorite color is blue, duh. Oh, <laughs> I should have known you would have done that. So there you have it, guys. Make sure you're using your Snapchat for good and not evil. Don't try to take people's colors away or their happiness away. Don't bully or be mean on Snapchat. Just be yourself and then other people will be themselves too. And come on down to Costa Cones if you want a free ice cream cone. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! My soccer ball just almost ran down the hill, and if it rolled down that hill, oh my gosh, I'd have to run so fast to catch it. Or I'd probably get hit by a car. Whoa, no, don't go over the edge! Oh, man, not again. Hey, loser. Who, who's that? Do they have a Corvette, or is that a Ferrari? I can't even tell the difference because I'm too poor to afford an amazing car like that. So, oh gosh, it's Sarah. Hey, loser. Hey, Sarah. Where'd you get that car? My daddy bought it for me. Isn't it amazing? Uh, yeah, it really is. Could I go for a ride? No, loser. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow is Rainbow Day. Everyone at school is supposed to wear rainbow. And what happens if you don't? You get expelled. What? You're kidding me. I don't even own anything that's rainbow. Well, you better get some because all the cool kids are going to be wearing this and all the losers who don't are going to get ex expelled. The principal said so. Now I'm out of here. You're really making me look bad. But, but what if I can't find something rainbow? Then you'll get expelled, duh! Oh my gosh, I gotta go tell Daisy. We're going to definitely have to go to the mall and go shopping. Daisy, Daisy, we're, Daisy! I've been here, Molly, making a snack. Ooh, that looks delicious. Daisy, no time for a snack! What? No time for a snack? Who are you? And what have you done with my sister, Molly? <laughs> you always have time for a snack. Not today. Sarah just drove by in her Corvette Ferrari, I don't know, fancy car, and she said that if we aren't wearing rainbow tomorrow at school, we're gonna all get expelled. What? That must be not true. She was wearing a rainbow shirt. Whoa, if she did it, that must mean it's true. What are we going to do? We don't own anything rainbow colored. Well, we have to do your favorite thing. Go shopping, of course. I better call Brookie on the way. Let her know so she doesn't get in trouble. I mean, why didn't the principal just make an announcement? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. We need to get these rainbow colors and right away. <laughs> hey, this is Brookie. What's up? Brookie, this is an emergency. Molly, are you okay? What's going on? Are you at the hospital? No, but I just heard that if we don't wear rainbow tomorrow, we're going to be expelled. What? Oh my gosh, Molly, why? I don't know. Sarah didn't say. She just said we better wear rainbow tomorrow. Um, I don't own any rainbow. Me either, so wanted me to set them all? Hopefully we can find something there. Sure, I'll meet you there, Molly. Thanks for letting me know. I'd hate to get expelled. My parents would never forgive me. Me either. Let's see you at the mall, Brookie. Bye. Buddy, hop on. Do you want to get to the mall or not? Yeah, we have to get there before they close, or I don't know what we do. I don't know either, Molly. Let's just hope they have some rainbow-colored clothes. Well, I was just thinking that maybe this could be rainbow-colored because, like, look, it's got, like, the galaxy on it. Not good enough! 
You're gonna you're gonna get detention and then get expelled and then never be able to return to school. Yeah, sounds like the principal is taking this really seriously. Yeah, it really does. Come on, let's go into Rockstar and see what we can find. No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Buddy, there's only three colors. We must have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine. Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, see if you can find something. They don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh. Brookie's gonna get expelled. Bam, bam, bam! No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her. Even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with like some, some like Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm gonna look ridiculous. No, 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 you'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There, perfect. Ah, oh, thank goodness. We all have a rainbow colored clothes for tomorrow. Now, none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I gotta get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good, bye! Whoa, we all wore our rainbow shirts. We're not gonna get expelled now. Come on, let's get into class. Oh, look who it is. Loser one, loser two. What, who's that loser? And loser three. Oh my God, Sarah! You you wore your Billie Eilish shirt, but, but, but today's rainbow day, and if you, you didn't wear rainbow, you're gonna get expelled by the principal. <laughs> You losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Today's not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. Oh my gosh. I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old, and now I look ridiculous. Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye. Isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's gonna make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is Rainbow Day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? What are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as Rainbow Day. Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on rainbow day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on rainbow day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but, but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room. They, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding. And also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up rainbow day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about, but I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and her friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But the only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. Well, that, that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on Rainbow Day. What the? I, I. You, uh, are expelled. What? But, but. I have no choice. It's the rules on Rainbow Day. Ah, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Ah. 
wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. Well, must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true.